All right, guys and girls, uh, welcome to Geek of Shames again. Um, so recently I just uploaded some videos of the razors that I got whilst uh, on a short trip to Romania, um, which was the brand new Gillette Skin Guard Sensitive Disposable. Um, and it was a great razor, uh, but while I was out there, they also had this packet and it says it's a hybrid system. Now, the only place I've really noticed hybrids before were on the BIC ranges. BIC started to do a hybrid range. Um, so what it seems to be is a plastic handle, but you can exchange the cartridges on it. Um, but you're still supposed to throw the plastic handle away. Um, yeah, so I thought, why not give it a go? See what it's like. Haven't noticed these in the UK. I know we get the Gillette Blue Free over here, but I've not seen this hybrid version. Um, just having a quick look on the back. No, I can't see any English in here again. And again, it's Procter & Gamble Gillette Germany. So, um, yeah, let's have a go. Just wet the face. Get a little bit in, a little bit of soap. Get it nice and soft before we go with it. So all in all, it's been quite a good little trip for razors. There we go, let that soak up. And now, let's have a look. So, on the packet it says one handle, nine blades. So two packs of four cartridges and one already installed. Uh, it looks like it's a three bladed system, hence Gillette Blue 3. Oh, I'm gonna have one of those issues where I'm gonna have to struggle opening it, am I? Let's see. Yep, come on. Okay, should have cut it open in advance. Oh, here we go. So two packs of cartridges. One very, very lightweight handle. Looks like it's a two-part injection mold because it's black. Oh no. Wow. I think it might even be a one part. No. It's got to be at least two parts. Might be a three-way injection mold because you've got just along this ridge here would be the mold line. So you'd have a top and bottom mold, but to get the weight out, they've made it hollow, which is interesting. Also, there's a big hole in it. I'm guessing you could hook it up. So, anyway, let's have a look. So we have the little plastic actuator, twists around. So there are. Three blades, they're quite well spaced out because you can see through them pretty well. Yep, yeah, you can just see through them. It's a rocking actuator. So let's see how it gets on. Ooh, didn't like that first stroke. I think that's because it's such a light handle.
Okay. Just a small adjustment on the pressure. And I have started to shave with the grain to start with. Because I don't want to catch myself. So the shave's going pretty well, to be fair. But without any weight in this handle, I'm actually having to apply a little bit of pressure, which is not normal for me. I like the small head. It's easy to get in under the nose. So, means you could, put too much pressure on it because the pressure is forced over area because it's a smaller head but it does get into all the little nooks and crannies easy the first pass. It's definitely going to need a second pass. So give that a rinse over. It did get most of it but where it's such a lightweight handle I am having to uh, be gentle and I think I, at some points I'm being just a little bit too gentle and I'm basically just taking the soap off without much hair coming off. There we go. And we are done. So, it did give a good shave. So, hold on, there's a little bit left there. Yeah, that's like you can hear it. Always on the jawline is difficult. Puff out the neck. There we go. So, it was quite a good shave. So, let's have a look. So, the blades are strapped in with the metal clips at the back. They are spot welded. Not sure how well the camera gets on the spots, but there's the little spot welds on there. And if you remember, that helps with the rigidity on the blades, the spot welding. There is flex on the cartridge. I can feel the suspension going. I'm not sure if you can see it. If you look at this back edge here as a push, you can see the blades literally 
go away because of the suspension. And that's this little bit on the back of the blades. So just here on the right and the left, they're the suspensions, which help ensure that you get a good shave on there. It's got the pulling strip and it's got the aloe strip. So definitely lubricating. All in, it's a very good blade. Um, I still think I prefer the other one I've got. So, blade, I mean the cartridges are virtually the same in the, in the design. And I reckon they would actually fit on each other as well. Although, I wouldn't want to be using this handle all the time. Although this is a very light handle, there's something about it that just seems to feel better. I think it's the type of plastic. But yeah, there you go. So you, the sensitive head would fit onto that handle if the handle was better, but it's not better. So let's not worry about that then. So there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, would I buy them again? They were cheap as chips and there's nine cartridges and I most likely would if it wasn't for this handle. So if I have the choice, I'll be going for the skin guard sensitive, but put your comments down below. Tell me what you think. Um, and yeah, like, subscribe, comment, share, and above all, just remember to like shaving.